Alrighty guys, it uh, looks like this is working. I guess this, I got the bark peeled off this. It had tons of dirt and gravel in it, so I don't know. This this is about a 30, probably 30, 31 inch piece. It's a 20 inch bar. And I got about 10, 11 inches before the other side there. Uh, so this is uh, my 4910 that I compete with. It is sporting an eight pin rim. And uh, let's see if a, a little saw can uh, do the work of a big saw. But, uh, Got a face full of nasty taste and oak. I'm gonna move this before I roll that off there, but uh, she walked uh, through that like butter. And I was pushing on that, guys. I am hoping not to get crunched by this thing. Yeah, here's another piece of bark. You guys can see all that dirt and stuff that's in there. Centipede. Right, let's see here. Let's see what it looks like in view. I don't know if I got a wedge with me or not. Just a second. See how that 4910 can do a cross cut.
that right there, my friends, is uh, why I love that saw so much. It, uh, this stuff is rock hard. It's red oak. Uh, I would say for 50 cc's, this is absolutely huge, uh, huge wood uh, to be cutting with a 50 cc. And uh, Old Faithful here does it no problem. That That's why I run that saw so much. It, uh, why would you want to lug anything heavier than that? It, uh, that saw is just an absolute pure pleasure to cut with. Uh, the downsides on, on with it, I don't have a wrap on this one. And uh, like if you're up close with it, this does kind of put a little bit of exhaust in your face. But uh, I originally didn't build this one for doing work like this. I built it to compete with. But uh, this thing has slayed me tons and tons of firewood. Uh, and it saved me oodles on gas uh, because it's really good on fuel. Uh, but th this stuff is rock hard, but, uh, you let me know what you guys think of, uh, a 50cc saw and, uh, big saw wood territory. You guys take it easy and have a good one.